Uh, so just in case the previous recording didn't work because I was in a hot spring right next to a waterfall and it would have been quite loud um, here's my reflection um, of late what it means to really be in a male body what it means to be a man um, this has been a, a an adventure kind of journey for me in the last couple of years um, having not grown up with a, um, a, a steady or stable father figure um, just on account of um, not living with one not because the man himself wasn't steady but because he wasn't steadily in my life for whatever reasons um, I've never known what it is to be a man and I've had to navigate that for myself and it's really just been a wake-up call as I'm 29 years old um, that I am a man and what that entails so here's what I've discovered so far in a real nutshell version what it means to be a man is responsible uh, mature um, kind of cool-headed and you know they these are really vague terms so what they actually what the values that they correlate with I I think are um, you know steadiness steadfastness integrity you know you give your word to something that you actually believe in you don't give your word you don't make promises that you don't think are worth keeping everything you give your word to is inside a bigger commitment for example I'm committed to inspiring people in the possibilities of spiritual life so if that's really worth doing then and, and I give my word to you know um, showing up at the Bhakti Lounge where I do a lot of voluntary work um, and where I really get to fulfill on this commitment of mine I, I shouldn't um, make a promise to show up there for voluntary you know, um, service and not show up. That would be very flaky and not masculine at all because for me masculine it is about um, really having, taking a stand and then um, keeping in that stance. Um, regardless of how windy, you know, or how, yeah, how windy life gets. The winds of circumstance can push us around a lot, um, you know, um, maybe emotional winds, maybe um, circumstantial winds, you know, maybe something happens in life, and that's always going to happen, and it might get in the way, but as much as possible, um, a man should keep his word, and I struggle with this, but it is, you know, I'm just sharing my reflection. Um, yeah, why would I give my word to something and then not fulfill on it? That just says that um, the word that I gave, um, you know, I just gave it willy-nilly. Instead of really being deliberate in life, deliberating on, is this inside, is this request that's being made of me to show up here or there, um, does it serve my higher purpose in life? And if it does, then I'm going to say yes and keep to that yes. And if not, I'm not going to give my word to it. Rather than just giving my word to it um, because I feel pressured or, you know, because it, I, I don't want to look bad or I want to, um, I'm, I'm scared of, you know. A lot of people say yes out of fear of consequence or for a, a reward. And that's not a man. Man does things because it's right. He believes in it, and you know he's going to uphold his belief. Um, another thing I've been reflecting on is like self-respect. You have boundaries. You don't um, hang around people who um, diss you, or don't you know um, bring you bring out your best self. They make you feel like crap, or or you know, um, if you're a man, you probably don't let anyone make you feel like crap anyway if they do they're not worth listening to so why, why would 
their, why would you let their words make you, make you, you know, you shouldn't give your power to anyone anyway to make you feel crap. But at the same time, you choose your association carefully so that you're, um, you don't hang around people who, who aren't like-minded. Like, why would you be hanging out with someone? It's about being deliberate again, not giving your promises to things that aren't you and not giving, not giving your time or, or presence to people who aren't, um, you know, um, you know, going to really um, help you in a sense. It sounds selfish, but it's true. Um, and that's just normal and natural too. Like no one um, does that. I don't, no one, if people do do it, but everyone knows that if you want to be, um, you know, birds of a feather flock together. If you want to be a doctor, you hang out with successful doctors. If you want to be spiritual, you hang out with spiritual people. If you want to be a drugger, you hang out with drug people who take drugs and nothing whatsoever against people who take drugs. That's a whole other topic about addiction and what drives that. Um, you know, compassion is needed around that topic. But um, just this idea of association, be deliberate in everything you do. That's manliness, you know. Deliberateness, integrity, having values and, and upholding them, ha taking a stance and keeping in that stance despite the, you know, the turmoil of life um, as much as possible. There's a lot more that could be said and I'm just at the beginning of this journey, um, semi-embarrassingly, but um, yeah, I look forward to sharing more um, reflections on this path and maybe hearing from you as well.